Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. My name's Raven from the Sky. And let's get into the deck recipe. Marincess Ocean. Okay. Three Deep Sweepers, good for taking out back row. Three Flip Frogs, good for uh, clearing the opponent's field. Field, especially when you get multiple of them, because you can bounce the bounce back the amount of monsters. Uh, you can based on the amount of frog monsters you control. Except for, of course, Frog the Jam. But if you got three Flip Frogs, that's three monsters. But I haven't really ever gotten more than one out on the field. But it still does the job nonetheless. Blue Tang, two. Two Crown Tails, although... Mm, you might want to swap her out. I just put her in there because she was Marincess. I don't really know much about Marincess. As you see, I just started really hitting my stride with the deck towards the end of the uh, showcase. Um, three Mandarins, two Pescalas. She's one of my main staples in the strategies, as you guys saw. You get her and you can summon another one. Then you can instantly start, you know, bringing out some of those link combos. Mainly her and Seahorse. All right, so three Seahorses, two Seat Stars, one Mobius. Um, an old school staple of, of, of a deck. Uh, he's I know he's not much of a staple anymore. Maybe uh, in, in water decks he's a staple, but he used to be a staple in every deck back when he first, when Monarchs first came out. I want to see around 2006, between 2005 and late 2006, when Monarchs first started, started really, you know, coming out in Yu-Gi-Oh! and doing the, G, the early GX era good for taking out back row you know basically he's a twin twister with uh with with with, with um 2400 attack except you you tribute a monster to summon him rather than just dumping one from your hand three mother grizzlies two shocktopus two cnat minings one dark hole two battle oceans one monster reborn one regeki one twin twisters Although, if you want to get this more often, you probably want to increase that to two. Two Johnny Mirror Forces. Two Torrential Reborns. Two Torrential Tributes. One Abyss Dweller. Three Blue Slugs. Two Coral and Moans. Another staple to set up the, 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 the combo to bring out the more powerful card. Uh, two Marincess Crystal Hearts. Good for nullifying effects, your opponent's effects. I mean, at least the ones where they get powered up from other cards. It'll, it'll cut that off. They'll only be affected by their own effects on that one monster versus, you know, like, for an example, like last duel, even though she wasn't out, um, he activated United We Stand. If she was out, United We Stand wouldn't have done anything. Although I was probably still at a loss, but at least they wouldn't have had that United We Stand power. Anyway, Marbled Rock, three. Sea Angels, two. And uh, one Wonder Heart. All right. And as you see down here, I don't really showcase the side decks because you don't swap anything out. It's uh, just one versus, you know, the best of two in real life. So, see, this is what they had first. It was basically a, like a fish deck with a few Marincesses sprinkled in there with uh, the Marincess link cards. And it, that, that, that's why it wasn't really working out for me in the early stages of the showcase. Now, with that being said, let's do all right. Since there's no back row, there's no need to have deep sweeper. I'm a dumb deep sweeper. Uh oh. He's got a uh, uh, what's the name? He's got one of the um, blossoms in his hand. He's got something in his hand that he can stop CNET mining with. I don't know what he's thinking about that's taking so long. If you're going to activate it or you're not. This is what I'm talking about. What are you thinking about? I'd see, but I told you he had a blossom in his hand. Go ahead and stop it then. Mm -hmm. 
Huh. You should have saved that blossom. Oh, here we go. Eleven year. Boy, is he broken. You're facing blue eyes again. And I do have he has eleven year. God again? Oh man, this is you have fun. They quit when you nuke their field because those beat sticks, they have to special summon. So when you <laughs> when you nuke the field, man, because that's the, the weakness of boss cards are so hard to get out. Unless you got like like that white stone. See how you can special summon? Unless you can special summon. They are so hard to get out, so you nuke the field, they be quitting. Can target one monster if I want to destroy it. Oh, shucks, of course. Of course. I knew it. I should have set I should have set blue tang. But you don't you don't really know what you're playing, you know. When you go that's the thing, when you go first, man. That's that flip flop frog, man. And then, but see once but it's once per turn, ain't it? Once per turn you can Yeah. He don't even have to attack. Look at that, man. I, sin. Uh. Don't even matter. You know what? Oh, that's ah, that's right. Should have put it here. <laughs> oh, Regeki. Gecky.
Living there is so broken, dude. I don't know what this guy's doing. That was game. So here talking. I forgot to turn my mic back on. The Galactic Spiral Dragon. I've never seen that card before in my life. Numeron Dragon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and see if it's grown. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.